Hey guys, how are we doing today? Uh, we are going to take the thumbnails and make banners. So if you've been following along the, with this strategy, uh, we're going to use these banners in our bonus pages or you can use them on the side of your website or wherever you want to put the banners, okay? All right, so um, let's get started. We're going to use a software called GIMP. It's GIMP.org. It's a free software. All you have to do is download it, and you can see that right here. Download this one right here, and uh, you should be all set. All right. This is what it looks like when it comes up. And I'm going to go ahead and drop myself down because I will be in the way. All right. So first thing that you need to do is hit file new we want to change this banner size to 300 and we want to change the height to 250 and hit ok alright so if you need uh, you know the most popular banner sizes you can google this it's not that hard I had to do it myself and you know 350 by 250 is a popular size 250 by 250 and there's other ones there's a lot lot of other ones that you can use so alright so the next process is we're gonna hit file again open a layer and here's another thing make this easy put this in your desktop or put it in your pictures uh, that way it makes it easier for you to find guys I didn't do that because I have a whole folder full of my thumbnails and I put it somewhere weird <laughs> so let's find them okay, right there another one download somewhere And for some reason, my internet is slow today again. I think everybody's on the darn tube. So instead of doing something constructive with their life. Travel. All right. And there. All right. So there we go. All right, we'll do this one. Alrighty, so basically what we're going to do is double click that one. And that's what you see. See this big square right here? This is the thumbnail. All right, this is 100% probably. What we need to do is shrink it down. There's a tool right here has a little box and an arrow click on it click on the uh, picture come over here put 300 put 250 and hit scale We're going to come down here because let's see if I can get my movement tool. All right, it worked. I've been having problems. No, it did not work. All right, so uh, if that happens to you, you come up here and say edit, undo, and we are going to hit this. Now, usually you can go up there and hit the movement tool. That's this one right here. For some reason, it is not working for me. And instead of messing around with it, I am going to do it this way. All right, so all set. 
Move it down. Voila. What do you think? Pretty cool, right? Now, you know, you could probably do this on paint, but it, it just don't look as good. It, it doesn't form it right. Um, so the next process is hit file again. We're going to export it. And uh, let's just, I'm going to just put it in my, see what happens here. You got to watch this. If you hit save or whatever, it's going to go to your documents. So we want to put it in a file. We're going to put it in my, my downloads. And we'll name it 300 by 250. And we'll name it, I don't even remember what it was. So I'm going to name it A for now. I'll rename it later. Now you can leave it as a JPEG. But I'm going to make it a J, JPG. Uh, that way it kind of shrinks the size of it. You know, PNGs, uh, or, you know, when you put those on websites, they uh, have more pixels and, 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 you know, there's a lot more data inside that photo. And when you're doing that, you want it a little less. So we're going to hit export. This is going to come up. You're going to hit export. And it's gone, buddy. It's in your folder. All right. So we're going to discard that. We're going to do this one more time, if you don't mind. That way you get it. I want you to get it. Uh, but you could rewind this video the way it is and do it. So we're going to go File. We're going to go New. I'm going to do it a little faster this time. 250 by 250 okay there it is we're going to come up here hit file open later uh, it already came to there so uh, let's try something different oh, I don't need one for that Uh, I don't know what that is. An SEO thing. We'll just we'll just do that one. So double click. Okay. Now we want a, the uh, scaling tool. We're gonna click on it. We're gonna put two fifty by two fifty, and we're going to hit scale. I don't know why it will not take go away, so I'm going to click here. I'm going to go to Tools, uh, Transformation, and Move. Drag that down here, and voila, another banner made. Now, guys, I don't know why my thing's sticking on on this but this tool right here you should be able to come over here could be my mouse it's been giving me problems uh, could be a um, mouse with borders I'm not really sure what the problem is but you should be able to click right there and not have to do it through the tools but if you do you know it's not that hard come up here hit transfer tools um, and then come over here and hit move and you can move it that way but I guarantee you, yours is going to work probably way better than mine is right now. And, uh, hey guys, that's it. I mean, just hit export, you know, file, file, export as, name it, whatever you want. And, you know, it already says JPG there, so all we need to do is put 250 by 250 and I'll name this one A and export export very easy so now you have banners to put on your bonus pages your websites and anything else that you want to put a banner on 
All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this, and I really appreciate you spending the time to go through this video with me, and I'll see you on the next one. Hey, thanks for watching. Subscribe to my channel. I'd sure appreciate that. Ring the bell to get a notification. Click the link in the description below, and we'll catch you on the next video.